okay uh this is second part of part two for the reviewing stage so after you finish the submission stage and then uh send the manuscript or the article to the reviewing stage for the next stage and you will find this uh mostly you uh, usually you will find this condition whether whether yeah, it's still empty without the reviewer okay so uh i don't have any uh for example but this is the current article which is in the reviewing process so we will i will use this uh, submission as the as the as the example for us so as i mentioned in the first part whether uh, uh when the assistant editor will upload the blind uh peer review article which is this one so you can see directly there is two articles this is the original from the the author and then the second one is the uh editing the editing article uh, by assistant editor which is there there will be no information about the uh, the about the author at all so there is no uh author names or no affiliation and even even uh, even in the info of the document also none uh there is only information about the editor itself so uh this uh is our way or standard to make sure uh as per recommendation from the another another associate editor uh this is the best way to make sure that we still compile uh, with the blind double blind reviewer uh, standard uh, which is in double blind uh, which means the author did not know the reviewer and vice versa the reviewer also will not know who is the author of that article so the first step you need to add click this button add the reviewer okay and uh you will see a lot of current reviewer in our journal uh so you can see their evaluation and then uh the you know the the subject interest the research interest for for them for example in reservoir modeling there is uh Professor Sanotate from King Abdullah University of Science Technology, and then there is from China University of Petroleum Beijing, and then a lot of uh, a lot of uh, peer reviewer. If you have a new or another uh, external reviewer, so you can create a new reviewer uh, from this this one. So you can create if you decided to not use the existing peer reviewer. Uh, which is I encourage you to choose external or another peer review which is uh, known by you so you can uh, ask them uh, directly so just put their name uh, then when we put their name for example like yourself or maybe for we Nguyen for example like that and then you just suggest just click this for the automatic suggestion for the username and then you can put what is their email uh, email we at gmail.com and then you can add this but it's not necessary the 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 mandatory one is the with the asterisk red asterisk this one so you have to fill it so and then their evaluation where is their evaluation from which university or which uh or what um, company uh their evaluation and then this is uh the template so you don't need to uh, modify it and then which is this also uh, we usually give the response for whether accepting our invitation or not is one week and then the total for the review is two weeks so uh, so we we can make sure that the 
process itself for the first round, second round, it, it, will, it will not take too long for the reviewing process. And then please click this. Uh, please just choose, just click the article, the blind article. So you don't need to send two articles. So uh, please pay attention here in this one. So you need to uh, choose which file uh, for this reviewing process, which is the blind article. You should choose the blind article, uh, the article with, uh, from the edit editor, assistant editor. So this is double blind, and then so we have a review form with this, and then add the reviewer, and then finish. Uh, and then after that, you have something like this. So when, for example, like this, this is uh, one reviewer is already accepted, and then we just make sure that he will send the uh, review result, his comment uh, or recommendation for that article before uh, 27th October. And then for this one, uh, he'll not respond it. Maybe you can send a reminder by clicking this, send a reminder uh, to the reviewer. And then if for a couple days, uh, still no response and then you can uh, try to add one at least we have at least we need two reviewer in 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 each round two reviewer okay and then after that uh when the all of the reviewer has a recommendation uh, i will show you for example which is the finished one is um, <clears throat> so for example uh this is the finish review from the reviewers uh, for the article for this article so the recommendation you can see the recommendation or usually in here you can uh, see uh, what it's uh, his detail for the review itself uh, and then you can check if the or uh, if uh, all of the reviewers uh, recommend to have a revision so you can ask you know request revision for this one you can click this uh button so you can click this button and then it will show something for revision if uh, we decided there will be no second round uh, for just this one for the peer reviewers maybe it's it's quite minor it's not really major uh, revision so we just choose this if the major revision and then we just choose this one there will be a new subject uh, and we choose a same reviewer for the second round okay and then there will be automatic automatically like this and then you can choose which is the uh, attachment file from the from the reviewers which is this is the attachment file for the uh, first reviewer and then this is common for the second reviewer so just just this and then record and then auto, uh, the notification will be automatically sent into the author so. okay and then the author usually will have time maximum 30 days to send back the revision uh, based on the comment from the reviewer as, as uh, you know it. So, and then the author will upload it uh, in here. And then you can check, uh, you can check the, the article, which is whether it's synchronized with the comment from the author. And then uh, also it's encouraged for the author to send the response uh, answer for each comment from the reviewer so uh, there will be discussion in here so we can add the discussion between uh, between the editor uh, with and the reviewer or editor and with the author for for the for the commentary section based on the uh, reviewing a uh, revision uh, result whether it needs to be corrected a little bit more or not or you can after that you can uh, if the article it's uh, has a satisfaction from uh, based on the comment of from the reviewer 
and by yourself also because the main decision is from the the editor so you need to uh, you need to see whether it's whether the revision file it's uh, acceptable for uh, for going or uh, for acceptable or not whether we can accept this submission or not so if the the article is okay and then we can click the accept submission uh, and then if uh, the article the revision from the article is still not good and then we can decline it okay and then if the accept submission then we can go to the they will be directly moved into the next part uh, next stage which is the copy editing uh, section okay